How's it going, everyone? My name is Eclipse. Welcome back to your one stop shop for anime, gaming, and more. I hope you're doing extremely well because me, I know I am. So, in today's video, we are back at it with Curse tank sim and well a lot of you guys really wanted to see this game again because you found it just as interesting as i once did a little bit on that later uh but we are back at it again today and well as you can see here i have a brand new setup i actually have a few new setups that we will be attempting to use in today's video first of all with the first setup as you can see here we have the frox hole again it's a decent hole it's I believe immune to HE and heat. So, uh, yeah, it's when someone hits you with a heat or HE shell, you just kind of go flying, but you don't die. But for the turn, we have the STRF 90 turn with a bagel panza auto cannon. Now, what's interesting is since I actually started playing this game again, they've actually made uh, secondaries like tow launchers and stuff like that actually work. And as you'll see in the video, uh, this MG right here actually does uh, work. And depending on the caliber, you can actually kill people with it, which does get frustrating if you're in a lightly armed vehicle. But what's interesting about this turret is that these missiles right here, these ATGMs are actually proxied they are uh their top attack missiles which means you don't have to hit anything directly you can just fly over a target and as long as it's three meters above the target well they get hit with a decent amount of well filler penetration 100 and uh not 100 510 millimeters of armor with a decent amount of overpressure capabilities we also got a whole host of other vehicles here as you can see the frogs with the chieftain gun amx uh chassis i can't remember which amx chassis this is but amx chassis hstvl turn with a bagel panza gun and well a realistic-esque build uh ztz mbt chassis with a t64 turn and the 75 millimeter colop gun uh hopefully i can bring these out sometime in the uh video and uh yeah before i actually jump into today's video however if you do me one quick favor make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it does help out the channel tremendously we are on our way to 650 subscribers if you can reach that goal that means so much to me but with that being said let's go ahead and roll today's gameplay all right first match of the day let's see what we can do here yeah bringing out the first build that you saw at the intro and uh yeah hopefully things go well so one of the reasons why I, I stopped playing this and why my friends stopped playing it was the fact that uh armor values and pen values do not add up in this game at all uh so for example you can shoot something from the world war ii era with high performing sabo uh darts and uh the game will be like no that doesn't go through and that's got that got old really quick plus the fact on some maps you just get battlefield 4 sun but like worse so like it's really hard to see and especially for me since i wear glasses and stuff i'm having to really strain my eyesight in order to actually get anywhere with this game oh whoa okay put that out before I actually die. I can't get through that. Oh, we got a dude right here. All right, he can't get to me, which is also a good thing. Okay, he's on fire. All right, dude down. Little weasel build. All right. Dude got taken care of. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I don't like being here. There's another dude pushing. I can see his name tag. But that's what I mean about the frog's hole, man. You get shot and it's like, oh, okay, I got shot. Cool. <laughs> don't care. Didn't ask. They're possibly going to spawn in over here. So I'm going to go ahead and move from this position. Yeah, I see one. He just flipped. Let me see if I can proxy him. Got his track. Trying to figure out where that came from. Yeah, do that. Yeah, just do that. So <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going, dude? Oh my god, there's so much going on. 
<laughs> no. No. All right. There's so much going on, dude. All right. We got a dude, uh, dude right here. Yep. 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 He sees me. He sees me. Yep, you shouldn't have swapped targets, dude. And you shouldn't have stopped right there either. Who's shooting this way? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, he crossed. That's what it is. Come on. Got him. <laughs> Stupid. God, the... Ooh. Come on. There we go. These guys don't check their six at all. All right, let's get out of here again. We got to repair a cannon. I can tell you this. The enemy team is livid about me. That's again, that's because the frog soul is such a meme type of hole. Like, it's ridiculous. Just because it, it's like, it's so low to the ground, so half the time your shots doesn't go through. But it does get annoying after a while when you get hit and it kind of spins you out. Because it like sends the turret in like a fast 360 motion. It kind of does get uh, disorienting after a while. I got his fuel tank. Oh shit. Okay. Come on, shoot me. Let's go ahead and knock that wall down. Thank you. Let's go ahead and do that. Because that's going to get him to push me. I'll do that one more time. Get rid of him. Get out of here. You ain't got no cannon. All right. Come on. My missiles are out. Back up, retreat. Yeah, okay. I got his left and right track. That's what you get for there's another dude over there. Saw his name tag for a brief second. This match is about to be over, so I guess we'll go ahead and get into another match, shall we? All right, this time we have my uh, AMX HSTVL turret build. Uh, we are on German servers, so my ping is gonna be like stupidly high because while well, the American servers were full, oddly enough. Uh, but we're going to see what we can do here in this short amount of time. And uh, yeah, if you are enjoying today's video, by the way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. As it does help out the channel and stuff like that. Someone's ahead of us. One down. Oh, he, he was looking at me too. So you knew I was there. Two down. The one cool thing about the HSCVL turn is that you kind of have this target reticle. Uh, so you can figure out where you need to shoot. Oh, we got a mouse build. Nice, nice. I'm going to go around him. Got one. Oh no! What the heck? What the heck is that? Huh. So if you guys didn't know, apparently, uh, I've heard rumors that you can kind of sweet talk your way into becoming a quote unquote developer for this game. You can have stuff made for you and then you can leave and then you still get to keep the stuff that you make. 
So that must be one of those one of those people. Like th those are rumors I've been hearing because one of my friends I used to play this game said that they came across someone who had like an Among Us gun that did like stupid amounts of damn it was a one shot kill essentially and it reloaded in like a really stupid amount of time like it was i think it was like a he said it was like 0.23 seconds and yeah which i mean to me it's that's kind of unfair because it puts them at an unfair advantage it puts people at an unfair advantage okay and so yeah I mean, if it were me, if I were developing this game, I wouldn't do that. Like if they were develop, if I was developing this game and I had someone in my development program, what I would do is I would take away the stuff that they had made or wanted me to put into the game away from them. So that way it kind of puts them back on a level playing field. I'm getting really close to their spawn. I think right now I'm on their spawn radar. So four kills, one death, not too shabby though. Okay, that dude is just flying. It's a shirt and that's what it is. Hmm. Okay, I gotta reload. Gotta get to the side of him. There we go. <laughs> Five kills, that was a quick match. I guess on to the last match of the day. All right, last match of the day. And uh, I swapped out my T64 build for uh, this build, which is the AMX build tank turret on top of the frog hole with a gun that shoots a dart that can pin upwards to 337 millimeters of armor. I got a seven second reload, which is, isn't too bad. It's not the best, but it isn't too bad. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get some kills. I don't have my stabilizer anymore, so can't really shoot on the move anymore, which does suck, uh, but it is what it is. And my favorite spot to sit on this map is up here because you can overlook, uh, you can overlook, if I can get my mouse over here, this side of the map, which is like really goofy. And like really no one checks over here for whatever reason. Huh? Oh, someone's using the <sighs> Storm Tiger gun. Right there. Engine, Commander, Fuel Tank, or Radio. Right wheel. If you want to know what I'm doing, it's called bino shooting, where I'm using my binos, then I'm firing. I'm using my binos so I have the shot, then I'm pulling the trigger. Commander, right wheel. Where are you going, dude? Oh, it's the same person, too. <laughs> Man, I love bino shooting. Especially when you're in a low profile tank like this, they usually can't tell where the shot's coming from. Hmm. All right, so what's happening here is they're firing from up here, which this map has a huge, huge issue from that. Basically, you can see from like over here to over here you can see pretty much into the entire spawn over here which just negates anyone from moving but i'm gonna say screw it we're gonna actually try to move through those tunnels that i was talking about uh, because if you uh, didn't know there's a fun fact or here's a fun fact you can actually see upwards into the map which means you can see where the enemies are and so if you're playing with friends and stuff you can relay the information back to them i'm gonna do a little jump cut here so that way you guys are not seeing me just travel through these tunnels and uh, I'll, you'll probably see the end result of this little travel time. All right, so looking at this, the team doesn't, <laughs> it looks like a lot of people don't understand that there's a huge tunnel under here. I actually figured this out not too long ago myself. Uh, there's someone here. Yeah, 
over here. <laughs> All right, I didn't actually know he was there until he started revving his engine. If I'm being honest with you. All right, let's see if we can find any more city camping people. That dude's probably so confused about what happened. All right, four kills, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Well, everyone, that's going to be it for today's video of Roblox Cursed Tank Sim. If you liked today's video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it does help with the channel. And uh, lastly, final thoughts. Overall, this game is still fun. It's not as fun as, as it used to be when I first started playing this game. But I mean, I, I guess that happens the longer you play a certain game. Um, But yeah, overall, this game is still relatively fun. I do recommend that you check it out, which I will links, leave links down in the description below and uh yeah and as always it's been your host eclipse playing roblox cursed tank simulator again and i'll see you all in the next one take care